Days like today remind me why I absolutely love day trading the stock market. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky here with TechMed Solutions, and I haven't filmed a video like this where it kind of talks a little bit more about me and my thoughts behind what it is that I do. I really hope that you enjoy it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, all I literally ask you to do is drop a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions after this video, please feel free to send me a direct message via Discord or Instagram. And that's the first or third link in the description down below. So one of the first things that I wanna show you is, I mean, today was not a normal day for me. Let me go ahead and show uh, what today was made up of. So overall on the day, $28,300. Uh, is what I made on the day. SQQQ, um, this trade was actually all caught live, uh, or at least the first $9,000. I made that within the first one hour of the market opening. And if you tuned on into our live session, again, our LPP team gets to watch me trade live every day. Uh, it was very easy to see that direction was favorable and that NASDAQ was selling off. And when NASDAQ market sells off, as you can see back here, SQQQ goes up. So as long as direction is clear, then so is opportunity. And I stepped on the gas when direction was favorable based off of yesterday's highs at $18. You can see that we tested that $18 resistance literally all day. So it was a textbook setup, being able to look at previous resistance levels. Uh, and then anytime this thing pulled on back uh, to any form of kind of like its support at that moving average on the five minute time frame. Um, it was very easy to be able to identify solid entries. I would average up into it when direction was favorable and then lock in profits once again. I walked away with $12,300 and one trade that I don't ever really take uh, that was very, very risky. But again, it's because of what was announced. Uh, it was a court case uh, that pretty much was favorable for AMC traders, right? And AMC absolutely took off. Uh, this all happened after market hours. I walked away with $15,000 in the green, $15,146. This thing at one point gapped up 100%. You might be asking the question, wow, how great, you know, you know, 100% gain. No, I mean, I actually f saw AMC when it was up 100%. And when it pulled on back and then it began to test its support at the moving average, I waited for my criteria to be met. And this is the whole reason I'm making this video is I wanted to share with you why I believe trading is so different in comparison to almost every other business or potential you know, field out there, right? Uh, one of the first things that I wanna talk about is you know, I mean, I, I run a series of different businesses, right? A lot of you guys know that we have, you know, a real estate investment company. We also flip real estate uh, properties in the Arizona market. Uh, we have an e-commerce store. Uh, I, I've had, you know, my fingers in, in different small forms of business, right? And the thing that is always very challenging is overhead. Uh, when it comes down to starting any form of business or any type of uh, thing that you know, it doesn't, it's not based off of the hours that you work. Uh, there tends to be a lot of overhead, right? But with investing and or trading in the stock market, um, there is no overhead. It, it's simply based off of opportunities that you choose to take advantage of. Uh, and I think it's just, it's such an interesting um field to be a part of. Now it's not easy, right? With great opportunity comes great responsibility. And because the paywall to enter, to learn how to do this uh, is so low, um, you know, you could definitely burn your, um, you know, or really like dig yourself into a deep hole when you're just getting started, which is why we always encourage beginners to paper trade, right? Which is a free way to be able to test as you are learning how to do this. Uh, the other thing, again, there's no delay, there's no employees, uh, and it can literally be done from anywhere. I think that's one of the most beautiful things is, I mean, people glorify travel and trading, right? Uh, it's something that I do from time to time. I don't travel, um, I would say as much as other people. Uh, but when I do, I mean, I have a family now, right? And I love being able to take my girl, Rachel, and also my daughter, Remy, uh, to the different places that, you know, they find to be interesting. And it is cool to have the ability to be able to trade from anywhere as long as I have my computer, my phone, and an internet connection, right? That's stable, right? Just so it doesn't uh, break in and out. Uh, but what it all really comes down to is it's all based off of my criteria and my edge, right? Just like your criteria and your edge. And this is what really separates, um, I would say from the do's and the don'ts. When it comes down to trading, and I don't know if you've ever made this mistake, but I know this is still something that I struggle with, right? It's still a challenge and an obstacle that I need to learn how to overcome on a weekly basis. Uh, but it's the idea of over trading. I know that if I spend too much time in front of a screen, I often feel the need to trade. Uh, but the more that you try to really 
embed in yourself that every trade you take has to have some form of edge. It has to meet some form of criteria. And for me, it's very simple. Direction has to be uh, favorable. Risk to reward ratios have to be in my favor, meaning that if I want to take advantage of an opportunity, you know, upside potential has to outweigh my downside risk. Uh, the third thing is position size. If you're part of my LPP team, you know that I overwhelm, uh, I, I use that word, I almost exhaust that word, position size, position size, position size, because it's something that I feel like not enough people talk about. You might be wondering what exactly do I mean? It means, let's say that you have a thousand dollars that you have in your account. Instead of buying a stock with a thousand dollars, you know, by managing your position size on your initial position, you maybe go in with $50 or a hundred dollars, right? You go in with five or 10% of what you can go in with to manage and mitigate risk and make sure that direction is actually favorable. Now, if it's making you money, then obviously you want to add more to it as long as the upside outweighs the downside. And it goes down the list based off of my criteria, right? And then at the end of it, risk management and take profits are set, making sure that you have some form of game plan when it comes down to initiating that trade. We have a very simple saying within our LPP team and it's a goal without a plan is a plan to fail. And it's literally super simple, right? It's um, as textbook as it gets. But you will be, you would be surprised with how many people that are just getting started that don't understand risk to reward ratios, that don't understand the importance of risk management. My job as a trader is not to avoid risk. I have red days, I have red weeks, I have red months. My job as a trader is not to avoid risk. It's to manage it, right? To keep those losses as small as possible and not being afraid of taking advantage of an opportunity. And one of the things that I want to compare this to is I know something that gets brought up uh, quite often is that trading is like gambling, right? And I would agree if you have no edge. I would agree if you don't follow any set list of criteria. But let me ask you this, right? And you can watch today's live trading session, right? And one of the things from today's live trading session uh, that you will see is that you know, with SQQQ, when I decided to really enter into SQQQ, I waited for direction to be favorable. I waited for direction to be clear enough that it was already making me money before I really stepped on the gas for it to make me more, right? When it comes down to gambling, can you open a position before you find out that it's going to like, let's say if it lands, I mean, I don't know many gambling games, uh, but let's say that you have the option of it going from red to, uh, uh, black or red, right? I'm either betting on red or black. To my understanding, when you're about to bet, you have to bet before it get it slows down enough. And then you have to see if you actually won, right? There, there is no form of gambling when it comes down to seeing and waiting for your criteria to be met that, wow, hey, this thing is actually indicating signs of an uptrend. It's making people money. Based off of previous highs, it has more upside margin to work with. So therefore, it could continue to go up. So therefore, right, I calculate risk to reward ratios. I, I take into consideration my position size. I take into consideration my risk. And then at that point, I wait for that confirmation. I take my initial position, 5 to 10%, and then I add more to it as it makes me more money, right? If things go south, as any trade can, then I, I manage my risk, right? One thing that I do agree is that Although I do not agree that trading is like gambling, I do agree that all trading comes at some form of risk. All investing comes at some form of risk. Any open position comes at some form of risk. This is why we talk about within our LPP team that any open position is open to risk because it's the very simple idea that if you are choosing to take a trade, you want to make sure that there are signs of progress, that it is making you money. And if it's not making you any more money, then why do you have that open position as a day trader, right? Is it worth the risk? And one thing that I find myself often asking myself in my head is always the opposite side of what I'm in. So like I'm in on SQQQ, market sells off, SQQQ goes up. I'm often thinking, well, why would the market go up? What do I need to look out for? Why wouldn't the market begin to indicate signs of a reversal? So I'm being cautious. I'm being my own devil's advocate when it comes down to any trades that I take. If I'm going long, then I'm also asking myself, why could the market pull on back? Why does it need to continue to go up, right? 
Same thing with AMC trade, super risky trade. So therefore I took position size into consideration. I took risk management into consideration. And I knew that at any form or any indication of a resistance, I would lock in profits just like I did, right? And then today is just a great example of putting everything together and it going according to plan. And of course, it doesn't go according to plan every single time. I mean, I had an amazing week and this was a great performing week for myself. But I wanted to kind of share my thought process behind one of my successful weeks, right? And successful trades and kind of just recap on why I personally love what it is that I do. I understand that it's not for everyone. If you're someone that can't learn from your mistake, if you're someone that isn't able to be disciplined to follow your set list of criteria. When I, I believe that when it comes down to trading, you shouldn't have to copy other people. You should be able to be self-sufficient and do this on your own. You should be able to explain it to others on why you're buying, why you're selling, why you would cut losses here, or why you would take profits there. It's very simple, right? But a lot of people, when they're getting into this, they're still asking the why or where. Where should I buy? Or where should I sell? And to me, that's just a huge red flag. A huge red flag of you're just not there yet, right? But I hope that you can use this video as motivation to continue to work towards having a better understanding of how the market works and what your edge is to be successful in this market. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share my thoughts on why I personally love uh, day trading in the stock market. Hope that it can inspire some of you. And if you ever have any questions, I hope that you know that you can always send me a direct message either via Discord or via Instagram, or the, and that's the first or third link in the description down below. I do trade live every single morning. And if you want the ability to watch me trade live as soon as Monday when the market opens, that is going to be the second link in the description down below. And it's our biggest sell right now, $175 off. So I'll see you at market open for our live session. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.